So now that the kids are all heading back to school, it won't take long for them to get their first project. So I thought for this week's video, I'll show you guys how to make a simple campfire diorama. Now to make the simple version, you only need these four items. I've got a flickering LED tea light candle, a block of wood, some matches and some super glue. So the most important item is this tea light candle. Now this is the flickering version. It takes a little button cell battery in the bottom here. It's got a built in switch and when you turn it on, the LED light flickers to simulate flame. I'll leave a link for these in the description. Now if you want to keep it fairly simple, you only need these items, but if you want to make it a bit more realistic, I've got some fake tufts of grass and some rocks. So the first thing we need to do is drill a hole in the timber so we can put in the tea light candle. But before I do that, I'm just going to measure the candle, which is 38 millimeters. So I'll drill myself a 40 millimeter hole just so we've got a little bit of play. Before I drill my hole, I just need to find the center. So I'm just going to go from one corner to the other, do that both ways, and then it'll give me my center point. Now when drilling the main hole, you don't want to go all the way through because what we're going to do now is we're going to drill a smaller hole which is just the thickness of the flame because that's all we want poking through the other side. Now once you have your holes drilled, that's the hardest part of the build done. For the next part of this project, you're going to need adult supervision. So if you don't have an adult around, please pause this video and go find someone to help you. So what we're going to do now is simulate the sticks that are propped up around the fire. And I'm just going to do that with some matches. And I'm just going to let some burn longer than others. That way they all look slightly different. Jedrick's also made a cool campfire diorama on his channel. If you haven't seen that already, I'll leave a link in the description. Now because we want these to look more like firewood and less like matches, I'm just going to take myself a blade here and just knock the heads of the matches off. The next step will be cutting down these matches so they fit nicely around the flame. Now that I've got my sticks cut to size, it's time to start gluing them on. Now I'm going to do that with some instant adhesive or super glue. This is the thick version from Starbond. I'm also going to use their accelerator spray, which makes the glue dry instantly. If you want to try any Starbond products for yourself, there's a 15% discount code in the description. Now if you just wanted to go for that pass mark, you could stop here, but if you want to go for the extra credit and get that A+, it's time to add some extras. I 
I've decided I want to add a little bit of sand. So I'm just going to mix it in with some UV resin. I'll just do that in a little plastic cup, and then we'll lay it around the fire. Now that I've got the sand exactly how I want it, all I have to do now is cure it, and I can do that with a UV light. Now if you don't have a UV light, you can just go put it out in the sun for about 15 minutes. Now it's time to add some tufts of grass. I got these ones from the local hobby store. I'm just going to sprinkle some extra sand over the top just to fill in the little gaps between the pieces of wood. And to lock all that into place, I'll just put a clear coat over the top. So if you were making this as your class project, I'd say you were pretty much finished. I reckon you get some good grades for this. But we are on the Ben's Works channel, so I think we need to add a little bit of resin. So I've put my campfire into the mould, it's now time to pour myself some resin, and for that I'll be using some art cast. Before I go popping this in the pressure pot, I'm going to wait for this resin to thicken up a little bit. Then I'm going to take some Just Resin paste. This is the titanium white. I'm going to put some on the end of a toothpick. I'm going to see if we can create some smoke trails. Now this process can be a little hit and miss, so we'll just see how we go. Well I think that's looking alright, hopefully it kind of keeps that shape, if it does sort of float around a little bit it shouldn't be too bad. I'm just going to go pop this in the pressure pot now and then we'll check on it tomorrow. So I need to tell you a quick story. The campfire diorama that you just saw me put in the pressure pot, that was a commission piece for a lady overseas. Now you're probably wondering why I'm telling you this, and the reason is I've just gone to edit this video and the last day of filming all those files are now corrupted. Now unfortunately I can't even refilm it for you guys because I've already shipped it and it's on its way to its new home. But what I did do was I spent the last two days and I've made a brand new one. Now the process was exactly the same as the original and the only footage you guys missed out on was me taking it out of the mould. I did give it a sand which you can see here and also a buff. Now this one looks just as amazing as the original so let's check it out. 